people. Today I'm doing an awesome Byron Bay inspired roast chicken with vegetables. Let's get started, shall we? So usually I get my wet cloth and my chopping board, so, and put that on top, just so my chopping board doesn't move, see? Alright, so, I'm gonna start with my smoky paprika. I usually put about four heaped tablespoons, because today we're doing two roast chickens, and usually it's two tablespoons per serve. Alright, ready? So the next one is my onion powder. I'll put two of them. Celery salt, one of them. And two of the garlic powder. So, for my next thing is the rub marinade. So what I want to do is get one cup of oil, add that to my spice ground mix, one pinch of salt and pepper. The next thing is to mix your spices. And now we're going to unwrap the chicken and magic. Next thing, we're going to put two lemons on the inside of the chicken so it can help with tenderization. And what I've done is I've just cut those two little slits inside the, the lemon just to help with the juices to come out. So, one in. Two in. Beautiful. Next up, we've got to preheat the oven to 180 degrees. Now I want to get on to my marinade for one hour. So I've got to place the two chickens in the tray. So what I've done is I've placed the two chickens on baking paper in a baking tray. And I want to re-whisk my marinade just to get all those spices from the bottom. And we want to pour it over the top of both chickens. You can just do one if you want. And massage. You need a really massage. This is where the love's at. Being a chef. I'm like, where's the love? And they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, I'm talking about the salt and pepper. That's where the love's at. And the massage. For the massage. Alright, now we're ready to marinate in the fridge for one hour. I've wrapped it, and we're putting it in the fridge for an hour. So, next up. We're going to be doing the roast vegetables. Now I've got to cut them and peel them, so I'll just show you what we're doing. We're doing sweet potato, butternut pumpkin, Dutch carrots, and I've just got some chives for the garnish. So I'm just cutting a slit down the center of the sweet potato. So when they bake, it doesn't take as long to cook. Next up is the pumpkin. Now sometimes you get them a bit dirty, but it's always, always pays to give them a wash. Gotcha. 
carrots. And I just like to leave a little bit of green on there, just to give a little bit of white colour to the plate, and it looks really cool. Every few carrots always makes a mess. <laughs> Everywhere, see? <laughs> you don't have to wash up though. Well, that's because I'm the chef. Also, if you'd like to try some of my food, I actually work at the Italian Australian Club in Moorwa. Whenever you'd like to drop in and say hello. And now it's time for some time. Rosemary and oregano, let's go. Rosemary. Time. And oregano. And that's from my roast veg. So I'm going to chop some herbs from out of my lovely garden and um, use them for the flavours for the roast vegetables. It smells so good. Now you can do them like this if you want to, or you can put them in a hole, it doesn't really matter, we'll pull them out later if you don't really like the, the woodiness of the herbs, but I love it. I don't mind. and oil. Voila! How's that? Now we're getting the chicken out after an hour. Unwrap it. Now stick it in the oven for about an hour, an hour and a half. You can also check the internal temperature and it usually needs to be about 75 degrees. Once, once it's cooked. And here's one I prepared earlier. Not my cooked chicken. Where's my cooked chicken? Come on. Can't get good help these days. Well, that was a bit of fun, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, there it is. You might see that it's a bit dark, but that's just the caramelization and it goes crispy and it tastes amazing. Okay, so now I'm dishing it up for the family. So I'm just gonna put a bit on a plate and we can all pick and choose what we would like. So, here we go. Beautiful sweet potato with some sour cream and some chives.
Olha lá. Mua! You sure we've got enough time for this? How about you just let us be? <laughs> G'day people, my name's Jai and today I'm doing an awesome roast chicken inspired Byron Bay Yeah. <laughs> 